Photoshop users can use iRacing car templates and spec maps as provided. Other paint programs don't have the same capabilities as Photoshop. It can be confusing and difficult to work with iRacing grayscale spec maps. One solution is to use RGB spec maps. Other paint programs work correctly and easily with RGB spec maps. For example, YouTube GIMP spec map tutorials invariably use RGB for spec maps. RGB spec maps are more visual, making it somewhat easier to understand what specular effects have been defined. You can define your own RGB spec map from scratch. However, the iRacing spec maps are always a good starting point for a custom spec map. The parts layers typically have useful specular definitions. The problem is, how do we convert an iRacing grayscale spec map to RGB? It's not obvious how to do this, especially if you are not an expert using painting software. This tutorial will take you through the steps to achieve this conversion. If you save the converted RGB spec map, you will only need to perform this procedure once per car. Let's walk through the steps to convert an iRacing spec map from grayscale to RGB. We are looking at the Affinity Photo Paint program. We have opened the iRacing car template for the Legends Ford 34C. The first thing we need to do is make the custom spec map visible and hide the other layers as we will not be using them during this procedure. Look at the layers panel on the lower right side of the screen. Clicking on the layer checkboxes hides or shows each layer. Click on the checkbox of the paintable area layer, that layer is now hidden. Click on the checkbox of the next layer up, that layer is now hidden. Click on the checkbox of the custom spec map layer. Now we can see the iRacing custom spec map. Immediately you can see one of the disadvantages of a grayscale spec map. Visually, we can't see what is metallic versus roughness, it's all black and white. In fact, at present, we can only see the metallic definition. Let's expand the custom spec map layer. Click on the pointer icon to the left of the custom spec map layer name. Turn off the red channel metallic by clicking on the checkbox. Now you can see the roughness definition. Turn off the green channel roughness by clicking on the checkbox. Now you can see the blue layer. It's fully white which is confusing, in grayscale this means solid blue. Let's convert the blue layer to RGB, as it's the easiest step to achieve. Click on the blue layer to select it. At the top of the screen, click on the Edit Menu option. Select the New Fill option. Select Custom Color. Click on the Color box. You can work in either RGB sliders or RGB hex mode. Here we need to ensure the red and green channels are set to zero. If working in RGB slider mode, set blue to 255. If working in RGB hex mode, set blue to FF. Click apply. We have now converted the blue layer from grayscale to shades of blue. Let's convert the green roughness layer to RGB. Click on the green channel checkbox to make it visible. Let's expand the green channel. Click on the pointer icon to the left of the green channel layer name. Click on the base paint layer to select it. Use the right mouse button over the base paint layer. Select the rasterize to mask option. At the top of the screen. Click on the layer menu. Select the new fill layer option. We need to set the fill color to green. In the color tab at the top. Set the red and blue channels to zero. If working in RGB slider mode, set green to 255. If working in RGB hex mode, set green to FF. Drag our green base paint layer over the green fill layer to mask it. Right mouse button over the parts layer. Select the rasterize to mask option. At the top of the screen. Click on the layer menu. Select the new fill layer option. Ensure the fill color is green. Drag our green parts layer over the green fill layer to mask it. Click on the green channel roughness layer to select it. Change the blend mode to add. The green layer has now been converted from grayscale to shades of green. You can turn the blue layer off to get a clear visualization of the green layer. Let's convert the red metallic layer to RGB. 
click on the red channel checkbox to make it visible. Let's expand the red channel. Click on the pointer icon to the left of the red channel layer name. Click on the base paint layer to select it. Use the right mouse button over the base paint layer. Select the rasterize to mask option. At the top of the screen. Click on the layer menu. Select the new fill layer option. We need to set the fill color to red. In the color tab at the top. Set the green and blue channels to zero. If working in RGB slider mode, set red to 255. If working in RGB hex mode, set red to FF. Drag our red base paint layer over the red fill layer to mask it. Right mouse button over the parts layer. Select the rasterize to mask option. At the top of the screen. Click on the layer menu. Select the new fill layer option. Ensure the fill color is red. Drag our red parts layer over the red fill layer to mask it. Click on the red channel metallic layer to select it. Change the blend mode to add. The red layer has now been converted from grayscale to shades of red. To complete this procedure, you can clean up the mask parts and base layers in both the red and green layers. Right mouse button over each one, select the rasterize option. We should also name these layers. I also like to rename the custom spec map layer to our GB spec map. Save the project. The spec map can now be exported in TGA format. That procedure is explained within another video in this playlist.